I want to talk about Holy Communion. Do you think it's important for us uh, just to be going and we take some juice and some bread and we eat together and then we call it eating the Holy Communion, the body of Christ and drinking his blood? Does it really make sense according to the Bible? Now, I want to explain to you here so that you yourself, you can be able to make that choice. If you want to go and eat some bread and drink some, some juice and uh, is that how we eat Christ Jesus. Now, listen, in the book of John, chapter 6, from verse 48, Jesus said, I am the bread of life. Okay? Your fathers did eat manna in the wilderness and are dead. This is the bread which comes down from heaven that a man may eat thereof and not die. Did you hear what Jesus said? That your fathers ate manna. <laughs> they, they fed their flesh, but now they are dead. But I am the bread of life, the one which comes from heaven. I am the bread of... Where did Jesus come from? Where is heaven? Heaven is a spiritual place, right? And Jesus came from the Father. And Jesus is God, right? And he speaks about him coming from the Father. So I am the bread of life, me, myself. And he explains how you're going to eat me, right? <laughs> this is the bread which comes down from heaven, that a man may eat thereof and not die. I am the living bread which came down from heaven, and if any man eat of this bread, he shall live forever. And the bread that I will give is my flesh, which I will give for the life of the world. This is what Jesus is saying. And the Jews therefore strove uh, among themselves, saying, How can this man give us his flesh to eat? Then Jesus said unto them, Verily, verily, I say unto you, except you eat the flesh of the Son of Man and drink his blood, you have no life in you. Whosoever eats my flesh and drinks my blood has eternal life, and I will raise him at the last day. For my flesh is meat indeed, and my blood is drink indeed. And he that eats my flesh and drinks my blood dwells in me, and I in him. So these people are confused. They are saying, Jesus, are you trying to tell us to be cannibals? Are you trying to give us some story which we are not understanding? How are you telling us to eat you? Now, remember one thing. Jesus was speaking when he was here on the earth. He had not died. He had not been buried and resurrected. Now, let's see. Let's keep on reading and you're going to understand this. And then uh, verse 57 says, As the living Father has sent me, and I live by the Father, so he that eateth me, even he shall live by me. I live by the Father. So meaning, I also eat the Father. <laughs> because if I say, I live by this bread, or I live by this food, it means I'm eating this food, right? If he said, I live by this water, or we live by this, that, that is where we eat. So he's saying, I live by the Father, so I eat my Father. So we have to understand, how does Jesus eat his father? Because he's saying, if I eat my father, then you eat me, then you have life. Are you getting the point here? And then he says, this is that bread which came down from heaven, not as your fathers did eat manna and are dead. He that eateth of this bread shall live forever. This thing said he in the synagogue as he taught in Capernaum. Many therefore of his disciples... When they heard this, said, This is a hard saying. Who can hear it? When Jesus knew in himself that his disciples murmured at it, he said unto them, Does this offend you? And then here comes the main big deal in verse 62. This is where the clear point of what he's saying you eat is implied. Verse 62 he says, What? And if you shall see the Son of Man ascend up, where he was before it is the spirit that quickens and the flesh profits nothing and the words that i speak unto you they are spirit and they are life so he's saying you're all murmuring here wait until you see the son of man going back to the father where he came from going back to his spirit form and then you will understand that this flesh profits nothing is not about eating with your mouth 
It is about eating something spiritual. Remember, if Jesus is spirit now, he's gone back to the Father, he's become a spirit, then he's eating from the Father, then you are eating from him. Remember, Jesus has gone back to being spirit. And then he says, the spirit quickens. So when he shall be quickened back, the flesh will profit nothing. And he says, the words that I speak unto you, they are spirits and they are spirit and they are life. So we are kept alive by these words. The words that I'm speaking unto you, they are life. Remember, there is a place in the book of Matthew 4, 4, where Jesus answered uh, the devil when he was trying to be tempted. And he said, it is written, man shall not live by bread alone, carnal things, bread, eating right but by every word that proceeds out of the mouth of god what is that word which comes out from the mouth of god jesus is the word of god so if you want to eat then eat jesus that word which comes out from the mouth of god so what is jesus trying to tell us that he is the bread he is the one that you can eat it is not eating some juice and some bread you don't have the revelation. You do not understand. He's saying that it is not just bread. Your fathers ate this kind of bread and they are dead and buried. They ate those juices and they drank those and they are all dead. But if you shall eat of me, my word. So eating the communion, communing with God, eating with God, or eating my body and drinking my blood, it is literally meaning eat my word fellowship together listen to what i'm saying read the scriptures dissect them you're eating of me because remember jesus now as we talk is back in the spirit form and if he's back in the spirit form how are we going to dine with him how are we going to dine with him are we going to eat jesus can we go and look for his uh, pieces of flesh that he left and his blood and we start eating no my friend you need to understand this even look at uh, the book of John, chapter 4, verse 30 uh, to 34. It says, then they went out of the city. These are the disciples. They have gone to look for food. Eh? And Jesus is just hanging out someplace. And came unto him. They have come back later. In the meanwhile, his disciples prayed him, saying, Master, eat. They have brought some food for him to eat. Some can of food, normal food, like, you know, maize and beans and whatever bread. Okay? <laughs> but he said unto them, I have meat to eat that you know not of. Therefore, say the disciples one to another, Has any man bought him something to eat? And Jesus said unto them, My meat, my food, is to do the will of him that sent me, and to finish his work. Did you hear the food of God? The food of Jesus Christ is to do the will of God. And how are we going to be eating Jesus? Because he said that he eats from the Father and then he wants us to eat from him. So if you want to eat of Jesus, then do the will of God. Then read his word. Then do good. Walk in the ways of righteousness and you shall be eating Jesus as Jesus is eating the Father. So he said that my food is to do the will of God. I am eating, eating by doing the will of God. So you, you want to eat of me, then do the will of my Father and you shall be eating. So when these guys wake up out there and they give you some juices and uh, some bread full of yeast, full of living and they tell you oh we are eating the body of christ we are eating my friend that is not how we eat we eat by doing the will of god holy communion i don't see the sense in it people just go out there and they keep on drinking and eating and they never change no wonder these people are still the same after eating the holy communion drinking that blood and whatever some juices at the end of the day they still go back to fornicate to still kill and destroy to do the works of the devil why because they don't eat the word of god and that is exactly what you're supposed to eat so stop being carnal remember you're also dead the flesh is dead it profits nothing you are when you get saved you have died with christ and risen with christ so are you going to be feeding a dead person as a matter of fact according to god your flesh is dead so why are you feeding it with bread and some juices you're already dead now the one which is alive with the spirit so if your spirit is alive, then feed the spirit. Stop feeding some carnal things which are already dead and buried.